Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Those who truly give thanks don't suffer empty thanks. To be thankful is to be thankful. Your thanks will never run dry again. Those who murmur empty their tanks without knowing. But those who give tanks keep filling their tanks. The tanks of this ministry is being filled day in day out because of our addiction to giving thanks. Your tanks of blessings will never run dry again. Yes, for everything we give thanks, but he also said in everything. It may not look like what you want, but in everything give thanks because the one managing your life, no one can manage it any better. In the name of Jesus, we have celebrated God again for filling our mouth with laughter. This ministry will never run laughter dry. It's beautiful to see fulfillment of prophecy days, but it's more humbling so here are the prophecies where they don't look like near or possible. And then here we are inside a fulfillment of prophecy, Tabernacle. Amen. Amen. We are, here we are planting churches in the year of global lockdown across 35 nations of the world. <laughs> he said this ministry is not limited to this country, but to the nations of the earth where vibrant churches shall be planted. Now, we didn't have one when he was saying that. Now, behold, the raw fulfillment of prophecy by the raw hand of God. One more time, let's lift up our two hands and give him thanks. Give him thanks for his raw hand that has brought us right here into the realm of fulfillment of prophecies. In Jesus' precious name, we have given thanks. Amen. Please sit down for a moment before we proclaim the blessing. Now, there is something that must go with you that no matter how far-fetched the prophetic word you have truly received and believed, it must come to pass in your life. A number of our friends in the powerhouse left because the thing was like going towards insanity. The statements had no landing place. They looked like a daydreamer talking about things that would never happen. Now, the Lord spoke to me that it will storm the world by men and women in this commission. Yeah. 
He said, I've given you the people. Now, raise them with me. You remember those prophetic words? Impart visions to them. School them into exploits. And by them, I will storm the world. Awesome God. Don't jump out of school or you never graduate. God doesn't need you and me for anything. For anything, sir. For, for anything. You need them for everything. Our people not left this church? Oh, yes. Did they leave Jesus? Oh, yes. Is he still Lord of all today? Yes. So what happened to those who left? They're on their own. <laughs> Amen. I'm married to Jesus. Satan, leave me alone. I'm married to Jesus. Satan, leave me alone. My husband is coming. So take me away to everlasting home. I've been running with this madness since 69. It is a very tasteful madness. Very tasteful madness. Whatever God is speaking to you, don't let it become like the world's of a singer in your ears. There are people here that will rise like Abraham. Yeah. At the age when people think it's over with them, God will start a new thing in their lives. By staying on with Jesus, Last year, we were, only, we, were, we were reaching 145 nations, and this year, 170 nations. Amen. Amen. So we, we have covered virtually the whole world. Last year, we had 40 major languages. This year, we had 62 major languages. Amen. Now, by staying on, sir, if we stayed in Capernaum, we will end there. There. God is not a respect of persons. No matter your anointing, when you stop following his leading, you miss out of his blessings. Amen. Sir, so I never checked on anyone when we left Capernaum to come here that, ah, I didn't see you. Never. Never, sir. I follow Jesus. Yes, yes, yes. You know that. Forever. He became ill with mercy because of the people. I want to make heaven. I want to make heaven. So if you are not interested, God bless you as you go your way. I love you with passion, but I won't let you make me miss my way. I love Jesus. Amen. When God said, as you pass all this one church, some were very upset. They didn't send me. No, they were upset behind, not to me. They don't talk to me. When I speak what God says, my wife knows. My long-range association No, you don't come near it. You don't, that is, your input can be very dangerous. God said, move, I move. You are not interested, God bless. Please learn to obey God. There is no group lifting with God. God lifts people one by one. Just stop gang ups. It won't help you to anywhere. Now, from this forest, we are reaching 170 nations. Wait, there are many people today whose business is in the corner, corner of a corner. They don't know where their business is in, on their street. But many of such will become global business endeavors. <laughs> We had only one beautiful car that sold for 1,000 naira 
when God said he would buy himself aircraft. Ask aviators, for God's sake, what it takes to keep running an aircraft since 1996 till date. What God said he will do, no matter where you are now, sir, God will do it. Amen. Your only job is to keep following him. When you start following, the agenda stops. As you keep following, the agenda is working. Walking all the way. Walking all the way. He said, don't you toy with this altar. It is serving a generation. It's a fact of a worldwide awakening. Stay over this church with me as I continue to reap the overripe harvest of the world together. Direct, not edited. Can you imagine 145 nations, 150 nations? You want to accept Jesus? They lift up their hands across the nations because God said so. It's not expertise. It's not experience. Is God said so. God said so. Don't stop following or God's agenda for you stops. If it stopped in Kaduna, it will stop there. You won't reach anywhere more than the north. If it stopped in Nigeria, when he said go to Africa, it will stop there. Now, we moved to Africa and said, now, move to the world. August 2000, we stepped out to the world. Amen. Amen. Grace to keep following. So as to see every prophetic agenda of God for your life come true, receive it now. Amen. We call you because we love you. You heard me say yesterday that don't put your telephone on your sacrifice. Nobody will call you. Because has anybody called you before? So there's no point putting your telephone. Which one will I put now? So that they won't be disturbing me. Don't put it. In fact, apart from the blessing, I was telling my son in the gospel, I said, I want them to go with their paper home so they can be reminded of what they wrote. And the Lord said, okay. Proclaim a blessing on their sacrifice. Otherwise, we'll go home with your paper. He said, nobody will read those papers. I'm telling you, nobody will read those papers. Nobody knows who has time. It's between you and God. Who has time? You do it. Good. You are the one who said it. <laughs> and so, it's between you and God. You said it to me. Didn't say it to me. Billions were spent the last year in church planting. You didn't take an offering from anybody. So caution, caution, caution. You better be personal in your work with God. That's has helped me, sir. So personal, sir. When God speaks to me, the whole world can't change it. When God says what to do, there is no authority on that heaven, sir, that can change it. I knew Shiloh will hold, no matter who is saying what. Did they hold or not? God called the meeting. You say you are so and so person. Who are you? God called the meeting. You say, I'm Mr. So-and-so. Mr. what? Stand on the way. God is doing something in your life. Amen? So I've never called any authority in my life. Will you allow God to do what he wants to do? No. 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 Never. To ask man to allow God to have his way, never. Next time I'll tell you stories about Kaduna. They won't forget this short man forever. Please follow Jesus. My passion is to see people married to Jesus. To see people married to Jesus. Oh, did somebody step me? I'm not coming to church again. Go away. Go to the shrine. Go to the shrine. Which leg are they stepping on? Somebody stepped on my leg, on my, on my stomach, on my head for seven years. They didn't touch my life. 
And I still love them. Oh, did somebody affected me in my service group? I'm not coming to church again until they come to beg me. Don't beg anybody, sir. No, 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 no. Go and start your service group in your house. <laughs> Amen. Life is about, are you determined to follow? He said, follow me and I will make you. Yes. Amen. Don't discuss me. Follow me. All this, uh, in my opinion, your opinion is irrelevant, sir. Opinion is a cup of tea. Jesus reigns here. Yes, yes, yes. Amen. Amen. If you say we are not following tomorrow, God forbid, it won't touch me. I just say, what did I hear? Did I say you are not following Jesus again? Be careful. <laughs> Heaven is real. Yeah. Amen. Well, what I'm saying this morning is you are one of those that will storm your world. You are being troubled today by your landlord. You will own estates tomorrow. Yeah. Nothing seems to be your shop today. You will be a socorro of multitudes tomorrow. Yeah. Well, the good news is this. Every single member of this church is ordained a giant. Your place, another man will not take. Your place, another man will not take. Every prophetic word concerning you will come openly to pass. Your turnaround era has just begun. The same way this ministry is exploding, and exploding. Do you know in some locations we had overflow in our uh, viewing centers? Overflow, overflow, overflow. That they are looking for screens to put everywhere. Overflow. That's how your life will start overflowing with God's blessing. Stand to your feet. Between now and Shiloh 2021, your mouth will never be laughed at dry. Somebody said, I was told, by one of my sons in the gospel, we are going to see his, know his pride now. Let us see we follow him to that forest. Now he's a minister of the gospel. I don't know what you'll be thinking now. We were under the construction of this building. The world will know the pride of this man now. Because that, this will be the end of that ministry. A friend of mine came and planted the church by Capernaum. And they put a banner somewhere. You don't have to go far. Amen. So that church closed down before it ever started well. And you know the humorous girl, we bought the property. <laughs> Amen. Amen. I called him one day, I said, hello. He said, like I heard your voice over the microphone. Oh, no, it's one of my sons that has a church there. I said, well, you don't come here at this kind of place without talking to me. Amen. He denied it. It, it. it was. You want to know the kind of person your pastor is? I paid for a property for one of my sons that was starting ministry in that area. Why we were still there? You know, the church of Christ is one. I said, uh, he said, he's got a property. I said, where is it? He said, okay. Uh, how much is it? I paid. It's in that area. Look. Please, be spiritual. Be spiritual. Be spiritual. Every word that God spoke concerning me is that one by one they come into pass. One by one. One by one I see them coming to pass. One by one. One by one. One by one. One by one. I didn't bring a dime to ministry. 
and I never took ministry money for one thing in my life. And I'm blessed. I've never earned a dime from books. I've never seen the money for tapes or CDs or DVD in my life, in my, life my entire life. But I'm blessed. Those working purely in the covenant and following after God. My prayer is that same order of grace that you received yesterday will not be in vain. It will speak in the lives of your children, of your children's children. You never know a setback anymore in life. You never know a setback anymore in life. We saw some things at Shiloh that I can't even tell you now. So I can't tell you. I can't tell you. <laughs> Amen. Uh, you'll be told here after. <laughs> that is the global import of this event. It's not meant for the public. Now. Because God said so. Lift up your two hands and receive grace for continuity and steadfastness in following God. Receive that grace in celebrating God at all times, no matter what. In pressing your way to the realms of fulfillment of prophecy. In Jesus' precious name, we are praying. All our pastors are admonished to wait till after the third service because we have to give pastor a praise. Amen. If you need to eat, go to any of the restaurants, but wait till after the third service so we can, you can be part of the priestly praise uh, that can be very extensive. So <laughs> let's get ready for it. Amen. Well, bless God for all that happens at the various satellite and viewing centers across Lagos and Nota. Amen. Thank God for the miracles that took place in all of those centers. And bless God for each free transmission. Jesus is Lord. Go in peace. Everyone traveling once again, your journeys are covered. You arrive in your destination safely. Everyone in town, you arrive in home with joy. Turn around becomes your new identity. And it's starting from now. Somebody got a job. Who didn't have money to get down here? He got a job he never applied for. I mean, things were just happening and happening. Now, things you least imagine that has been an issue in your life will start speaking from now. All through this festive season, there shall be no evil report. Every journey within and outside the country is declared safe. All of our sons and daughters that are spread around the world, they are declared safe. Every one of them coming home for this festive season is covered by the blood. There shall be no concern of what in any kind in the name of Jesus Christ. <laughs> 